Today I am going to show some of the most important pieces of lab glassware for anyone interested in pursuing chemistry as a hobby. First, I have a beaker. Beakers are the most important pieces of glassware and can be used in a huge variety of ways. This specific beaker is 500 milliliters and cost me $8. This is an Erlenmeyer flask and is probably the most iconic piece of glassware. Like a beaker, these flasks are multifunctional, however these taper near the top allowing them to be used for filtration or plugged with a stopper. This is a graduated cylinder and it's used for measuring out precise volumes of fluid. These come in sizes ranging from 5 to 2,000 milliliters and $5 to $60 in price. This is a volumetric flask, and it is used to create precise dilutions from a stock or solid reagent. The faint line on the neck indicates the volume of the piece, and is the final volume used in a volumetric dilution. These typically range in capacity from 5 to 2,000 milliliters and $12 to $150 in price. This is a pressure equalizing addition funnel, and it's used to add liquid reagent to a reaction vessel at a controlled rate without allowing any gas in or out of the system. These typically range in capacity from 50 to 1,000 milliliters and $30 to $130 in price. This is a Liebig condenser, and it is used to condense gas into liquid in a distillation. This is connected in line between the reaction and collection vessels. Chilled water is pumped through the small ports which chills hot gas traveling through the center column. This is a three-way adapter used in distillation, and the next piece is a bent vacuum adapter, followed by a glass stopper. Each of these are under $20. You may notice that some of my glassware is ground at the ends and fitted to a specific size. This ground glassware can be fitted together to create an airtight seal, but is typically much more expensive than standard pieces. This is a collection flask, and it's used to receive fluid products from a distillation. These are typically small and between $10 and $40. This is a separatory funnel, and it is used in cleaning of liquid products and organic extractions. When two immiscible liquids of different densities are added, the denser liquid collects at the bottom where it can be precisely drained away. This is a boiling flask, and it's used to boil chemical reagents. These can be round or flat bottomed. Boiling flasks range in size from 250 to 5,000 milliliters and $15 to $300 in price. This is a Buckner funnel, and it's used in vacuum filtration. These work by attaching a vacuum hose to the small port after fitting it to a ground glass flask. The vacuum pulls liquid through the filter and into the flask very quickly. I'll go ahead and stop the video here. If this topic gets a lot of interest I'll make a part two because there is a lot more to show. Follow for more.